grow up. It's the first thing I said to the group locker room when I got in there, when everyone's got their heads hanging. I feel like we've been feeling sorry for ourselves for a month. We have no time for it. I just told them to pray whoever you believe in that we get Vancouver to do us a favor and we prepare this week like that's what's going to happen. And we show up and, and we take care of business. I don't think at this point we deserve another opportunity, but if we're given it, I, I hope to God the locker room wakes up and, and, uh, we, and we get it done because it feels like a lot of guys are in the wrong profession right now if, if uh, we can't turn things around. Uh, we were a battle-tested team last year. We had a ton of experience, a ton of domestic experience. I cannot understate how important that is. We were on the right side of all these results last year. We're watching guys learn it firsthand right now in these lessons. If anyone's gone through hardships in their life or in their career, lessons take a minute, they take time, they take reflection. Can't do it on the fly. And uh, we're witnessing what happens when you don't have an experienced locker room. Um, that being said, we have a talented group and we're trying to figure out how to get it right for today, which again is a failure on the leadership team that we couldn't get this done and couldn't keep a clean sheet. That was our goal. And uh, we need to figure it out in a hurry for next week. So different ways to motivate the group, different ways to figure that out. And, um, and that's what I'll be thinking about on the bus ride home and uh, preparing for next match. So we don't concede late. I mean, it's a long list of things. Again, um, you know, a lot of people smarter than me trying to figure it out. Uh, it's no secret. We had a huge turnover. Um, and for, you know, we sold players, players moved on. We didn't retain some, um, you know, there's reasons for all that, but, uh, you know, there's no excuses. We just, uh, the, the game doesn't care about you. The game's not fair. You don't deserve anything. Just because you did something last year doesn't mean you, you get to do it this year. You know, Forge makes it look a lot easier than it is. Um, and and we, had, we, we should learn from that. Just like no one cares that we won the league last year, no one cares that we finished fifth or sixth this year. Game doesn't care. Fans don't care. We just got to show up in preseason and be, be ready. But again, we have a week right now. It's going to be the best week of training of the year. I promise you that. And, and we're going to be ready to go at Forge.